slow car repair, slow car garage. So when I'm driving, right, I get this rattling noise that mainly comes from this side of the car. Uh, I don't really too much notice it coming from the driver's side, just, just more so the passenger. So I came down, I started beating around. And when I hit the caliper like this, I knew instantly that it was the brake caliper. So if you're hearing a crazy rattling noise that almost sounds like, I don't know, like your, all your suspension pretty much gave out, come down to your brake caliper and just give it a hit. If the wheel is on the car and you can't take it off, just bang the tire, just bring the tire around and you'll be able to hear it. This is the noise and what causes this noise are the brake caliper guide pins, right? So if they have any type of room on the inside of the actual brake caliper bracket itself, room to move up and down, side to side, it'll do that when the car is in motion. Uh, going over bumps, you'll hear it, crazy rattling noise as I described earlier. Let's get started. 14 millimeter bolts that hold in the uh, caliper guide pins. Brake pads are still good. This is the issue. You know, this is the exact sound that I hear when I'm driving. This had a much amplified uh, brake. So we're going to go ahead and actually replace the bottom and the top since I have both of the bolts. And we'll see if it suppresses the noise at all. So off the rip, right, I can tell that the diameter of the stock caliper bolt, this one here, that's more dirty. The diameter of it is a little wider than the one that comes with the new Duralast uh, AutoZone caliper. So I'm pretty sure you can see if I focus it straight right here. Uh, this one's a little bit wider. Um, you can even see it. It's a little bit thicker when I hold them up side to side. So I'm going to insert this um, in replacement in the top here. And I'm going to wiggle it around and see what I have. But first, let me grab some grease. You have no play and uh, no, no extra movement in here. Uh, it goes in and out pretty smoothly. So this is the one that comes with the aftermarket Duralast. This is the one that comes with the OEM Subaru brake caliper, right? So as you can see, the rubber makeup is different. You notice that the aftermarket one, the rubber strips are going straight up and down. And then the OEM Subaru brake caliper, the rubber is wrapping around uh, in the horizontal uh, direction. The diameter, again, of the metal pin itself is wider on the OEM versus the aftermarket. No play, nothing like it was before. We have good, uh, good lubrication. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that brake caliper back on and test these brakes out. rattling is gone we have no more play in the brake caliper actually doing it this way getting the actual guide pin instead of outlining the guide pin with a sheet of foil i find that this is much more effective much more safe is to just get the actual right part install it problem solved so yes so car repair so car garage another great video appreciate you guys sticking around i didn't know if this was gonna go how it went but it went well Appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm here. Any questions, leave them in the comments. We're out. Peace.